Sorry about my Croatia channel. So oh, I apologise for my absence. It's been a crazy couple of months, but let's get back into it. So my last couple of videos have been reaction videos, and I've loved doing them so much. However, YouTube apparently didn't like them so much because they kept blocking them. Um, copyright law and infringement, and I'm using this because the, the microphone on my phone isn't being festive. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing what I read in 2020. I've held that in the most awkwardest way I could um, because I'm me. Let's, let's get into it. The first, th this isn't in any particular order. So the first book I want to talk about is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, the graphic novel. I really, really enjoyed this and I think I read it in just over a day. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it's got some really beautiful illustrations uh, and I believe it's from Amazon. Um, I will leave a link to all the books down below if you want to go check them out. But I really enjoyed this, one of my favourite books of all time. The next book is 1984 by George Orwell. So I've heard a lot about 1984 on Bookstagram and Booktube and I was like, it sat, the premise sounded right up my alley. One of my many book depository hauls. I ordered this and read it. I wasn't, the premise is really up my alley. I really enjoyed the story. I just think it kind of missing something, but it kind of, it, it's strange. I wasn't mad about this book, but I did really, really enjoy it. Um, and I will be checking out more of George Orwell uh, this year, hopefully. You, know me. you will know that I am completely and utterly obsessed with the Victorians. I think I can confidently say that I have watched every documentary on YouTube <laughs> on the Victorians and I just love it so much. So I've been obsessed with them since I was about 10. One of my favourite historians, Ruth Goodman, published this book, How to Be a Victorian. I was like, I have to get that. So I was gifted this book by Amy Jane Reads and I thank you so much because of this was this was one of the best books that I've read last year. So Ruth takes you right from the time you wake up in the Victorian era, right until you fall asleep. I love this book so much. So another book that I read last year is Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig. I, this is the first book I read from Matt and I could not put this down. I read it in a day and it really changed my relationship with social media and technology and he's got some very good points in this book. I have to give it to him. He knows what he's talking about. So much research and I think he he deals with mental health in a respectable way. Cannot recommend this book enough. If you haven't read it, definitely read it. So another book that I read in 2020 is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This book has one of the those moments in a book where you're like why is it called Turtles All the Way Down and then you're like you you get to a part of the book and you're like that's why it's called that. I really enjoyed this book. The what another book that really handles mental health in a great way. I don't think I've read such a modern book before. I always like tend to read classics. I definitely enjoyed this book. And... Okay so this is probably a very controversial thing to say and I don't mean to offend anybody when I say this but the next book that I read in 2020 is Wuthering Heights. I am gonna brace myself. Well I'm sorry I <clears throat> have wanted to read this forever. Uh, or since I really got into books a couple of years ago and I tried and I just couldn't get into it and then I was like right this year I'm going to read Wuthering Heights and I started it I finished it I wasn't crazy about it and it's a very angry book there's a lot of angry people in this book that need to sort their issues out I'm glad I read it glad I finished it but I'm not overly obsessed that this is probably the, the pile on books that I enjoyed last year. Sorry. Is one of the books that I've really enjoyed reading is The Sins of Jack Saul. Um, the true story of Dublin Jack and the Cleveland Street Scandal. 
So Jack is a rent boy in Victorian Britain. It's, it's a true story and it takes you, it goes, he's from Ireland. Glenn Chandler takes you from the time he was born and his, and his growing up to the time when he dies. I really enjoyed this book and it made me feel really lucky in the world we live in today. Although being gay isn't 100% accepted, it, it's, we're definitely better off than Jack and his friends were. So if you want to read some LGBT plus books then definitely add this to your list because I loved it. And Charles Dickens is one of my favourite authors ever. I loved Oliver Twist and A Christmas Carol is one of my only personal traditions that I have. Um, every year I make sure I make some time to read to read this book. I love it so much. I'm not really keen on the front cover but never judge a book by its cover. I do have another cover of this but I just like how it's all... <clears throat> it's really easy to read and um, I, I read it in a day every year. There's no point in me telling you what it's about because if you haven't been living under a rock your whole life you would know what this is about. When I was growing up we would go to the library and I'd get books out and I wouldn't really read them I'd just like they'd always be like non-fiction books or look at the pictures and things but this book is the, the first book I've read uh, cover to cover um, from the library. This is Foul deeds and suspicious deaths in and around the fens. I live in the fens and it was it was really it was great to read about places that are literally down the road from me. There's riots that happened in the early 19th century um, in my village. There's a murder in a, in a town about 20 minutes away and I I love this book so much and it's from the library and I, I rented this out in February last year <clears throat> and then and then Covid hit so it's literally been you know renewed and renewed and renewed um, on their part not my part so I still have this nearly a year on but I think I might actually buy this um, to add to my collection because I really did enjoy this book. These are in no particular order, because if this wasn't particular order, this would be number one. But I've saved the best to last, which is kind of contradictory. Another book that I read in 2020 is The Meaning of Mariah Carey by Mariah Carey. I am a big fan. I'm a lamb. I've met her. I've been to four concerts? Yeah, four concerts. And... I have every album, some duplicate, I have the vinyls, I'm such a big fan, freaking love her. So to read her story from her childhood right up to having her own children was a lovely, um, it was a great read. This book has you laughing, it has you singing along because she entwines her own songs into it. So it has you laughing, it has you crying, it has you singing along. And there are some things we found out in this book that are really sad. And I love her and appreciate her even more than I already did because of this book. She is one of the strongest people I know. I, do, I just love it. This book is amazing. I will read this book every single day. Yeah, so much work has been put into this. The audiobook is amazing. Um, and just like the little details in it, um, like she adds, like she entwines her song lyrics into it and in the audiobook she sings it. And even the little bits like, so this is Little Mariah um, and then the hair connects to Mariah today. Um, but I really enjoyed this book. I could make a whole video about this book, um, but I don't need to because I'm part of a book club. I will leave the link down below on the videos where we talk about each part. There's four parts, Wayward Child, Sing Sing, All That Glitters and Emancipation. Um, we have already done th the first three parts, so definitely go and check that out. I love this book so much. 
So that has been the books that I have read in 2020. Happy New Year! I will upload as much as I can. I've got some videos to edit already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!